You're now locked onto the Pulse Radio Show with Marcus Myers, X Tina, and Ken Pyle. And on the one and twos, Big Red the DJ. It's the Pulse Radio Show, baby. Believe that. I, I saw your pics when you were in Trinidad for Carnival, <laughs> and I know that you have a wonderful story to tell about that. So let's let's jump right into it, Christine. Let's go right into it. All right. So tonight, as I said, we have X marks the pop. As we know, crop over is fast approaching. It's basically right upon us. And um, I mean, we have two more carnivals basically to pass before we get to crop over. But we have Jamaica Carnival coming. That mass day is actually April 8th, which is the Sunday after Easter. Have you ever been to Jamaica Carnival, Christine? I have not, but I've also heard it was amazing. And I think the the touch is really the fact that it's not just soca. You know, they have that dance hall, which adds that extra hype and that difference. So I definitely want to visit. Are you a fan of dance hall music? Because he is smiling when you said the word dance hall. I, Are you a fan I love of dance? it. Give me a little cartel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's a gaza. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, after Jamaica Carnival, um, close behind that is the inaugural Guyana Carnival, and that's coming up in May. I see um, Scorch and some of the other big promoters have their events like Duckwork and so on coming up for is, Guyana is, Carnival. Is that something that you would go to for the inception, or would you personally wait for it to grow and become something larger than it, what, it, what it started with? I mean, I'll definitely look out and see what it's about. There were some other songs that really squeezed in there for me, like that, honestly, like it was so hard to choose. But um, Showtime by Marshall, I have that at number four. Showtime? Yeah. That's interesting. You know, sometimes you listen to a song and you may like it even though it may not be necessarily a song that a lot of other people like. I find that Showtime is one of those, because naturally when you think about Marshall for, for this year, you're naturally thinking about the Soka Kingdom and stuff like that, but that's a very interesting um, selection of yours there, Christina. Yeah, uh, actually I have Marshall again at number three. Of course three. you do, of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this was not a plan, but um, don't play that. Big that tune, big that tune, beat big was tune, big amazing, tune. and I found that even grew on me more on the road rather than before. And so, then, no, hold on, you said mm -hmm. you were on the road. Where were you? Who were you with on the road? Ex explain this experience to me. Oh, it's, it's unexplainable, but I play Massive Tribe. It's my third time. And um, honestly, unexplainable. It was, it was amazing. My number one is top. Uh, is, sorry, Soka Kingdom. Really? Yes. Really? Okay. Marshall and Super Blue. That song will win every time. Yeah, I love that build up. <laughs> so when, when you hear it, do you, do you reminisce about your experience? What is it so special or do you just like how the song no, sounds? Reminisce is not the word. You're in a zone when you hear that. And I heard it up to Sunday when I was out. And it was just like it took me right back to Trinidad. But um, we have some special mentions, of course. That's Criminal Wayne by Lyrical and Patrice. And that, 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 is, that, that is a, a very wonderful track, that, that Criminal is. Wayne. Yeah. Fantastic track, man. Wasteland Pelton as well by Irfan Alz and Destra. And Destra yep. That's a sleeper. People slept on that hard. I like, I like that track. I, I think I play that rather often on um, on, on the radio. I, I, I like it. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Irfan, man. Irfan the Bridger, man. Shout out to Irfan for real. Yeah, that, I, I really love that song. But um, what I want to put to you guys in the studio, you know, my people, um, what do you think the vibe is going to be this year for Crop Over? Um, more Bashman or more Groovy Soka? I think it's going to be a 50-50 situation of Bashman Soka and Sweet Soka. You, you, you think so, but I, I feel that because Bashma is one easier to do and more energetic, I feel that Bashma is slowly making its way as being the dominant force yeah. right now in Soka. So I don't know, but, and not to mention um, the, the competition is growing as well. So right. if you think about all these um, competitors that are coming out, it could be these young boys that just got, you know, they got little lyrics and they can do a little, you know, a so, one, two, three. Marcus, let me ask you, you seem to be the youngest person in the room at the moment. Is that true? <laughs> no, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some people here that are okay. like, Let me like, from the that, team. This, 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 that's secondary school. Yeah, uh -huh. I know you look like Dwayne, but it's you. You're the youngest person on the team. Uh, uh. Do you anticipate the release of the Bashment Soka? Or is it that you hear a song and it just connects or you, you feel it? What, what is it? Are you are you looking forward for the Bashman or, or is it that you hear a Bashman track and then you cling to it? The thing is, it's not that I look forward to the Bashman. I think that sometimes it takes one to just come and hit you. It gotta hit you like, because there's so many different ways to say the same thing, right? And it just needs like the right tempo, the right words, the right cadence, the right 
energy, the right person to do it. And then that's the only way that you can really know until you hear it. So I don't think you anticipate it, but just wait until it comes and to then really make a judgment. How do you how do you foresee which one is gonna be like the big one for that year? The girls. The girls all <laughs> <laughs> the girls, I, like I mean, we you know, speaking from the perspective of, of doing the bashment, it's all in an effort to, to incite and, and invoke that um that 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 spirit that the ladies like to right, get right. into, you know? So if you're not seeing the ladies react away. So that's your formula all this time. It's all this your, I feel no, so good at everything. No, 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 this this no came from looking at the girls, really. No, no, no. The, 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 the girls is a, a form of feedback. A form of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see, you, see, you see the reaction, you don't necessarily. They already worked the scale for you. Oh, ben over. Hold, 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 hold your earthquake with it. Ben over and all that battle will okay. forever be a favorite. <laughs> 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 but just just consider uh, more of the Bachman Soka and the Sweet Soka has its players as well too. I mean, of course the Bachman Soka is going to cater to the youth, whereas you now the Sweet Soka is going to cater more to the um, mature audience and so forth. So nonetheless, that's what they said, 50-50, right. both, bo both, both areas have their players. True, yeah? true, true. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Alright, well coming off of that, another point I want to find out from you guys this is something I noticed from, I, I spent two years in Trinidad when I was at law school and I noticed that there's certain songs that, how can I put it, hit way bigger than others coming from then crop over to Carnival in the next year. So, you know, the ones that I find that are like the real genuine Bajan culture, so the mm -hmm. Little Rick, the Stiffy, the um, Lead Pipe and Salas, Marsville. In Marsville, like, um, Bobbin. Skrilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skrilla you know, they, they really hit hard while other songs that I guess to me tried to sound Trini and use the carnival and the festival, like, they right. went nowhere, yeah. basically. Like the carnival so, and the no, festival. No, seriously, that is how they were. I, I, and I'm here like, this but is not major. You know, you, know, you know what I think it is? I think it's because the Trini see through what we're trying to do. They see that we're trying to break that mold and Really and truly, this want an authentic, raw, Bajan vibe. You can't really, you can't really beat that Bajan vibe. You know, can Correct, correct. I could agree with you 100%, but I want to touch on something that Stina said. Um, if you check it right, in the Trinidad, Trinidad Carnival, where the Bajans went down there, they, they were pretty successful. I find, I don't know if you guys agree with me on what's not, but for example, Parky and Mur Murder, right. Sweet Soka, A Feeling, A Feeling, right. Big every couple of years ago. You know, his, his rocker was pretty groovy on what's not. With some gold accents, two of my, my, my favorite combinations. If anybody knows me, they know I love some white and some gold. And um, some of these David Ash pants, so the skinny fit, navy, love that, is perfect. And um, of it course, perfect, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. And of course, of course, you know, I, I have to complete the look, you know, get all made up, all dolled up. And again, if anybody out there, y'all know me, I love Iman makeup. It is a perfect match for me. I've tried other brands and you come out as some Bajan say looking dusty, but <laughs> perfect, perfect blend. Earth Deep Powder and Earth Five Foundation. And I have on actually right now an Iman red lipstick, which everybody wonders how I can eat an entire dinner and my lipstick is Whoa. still on. So. You know, I, I have to big up Iman and I have to big up Cave Shepherd for getting me every time I need to, you know, re-up on that. And, um, you know, I will be checking in with my mom, you know, on her spring cleaning this weekend because, you know, she's she's going to be wanting to check out that linens department. You know, they've got some new rugs and new accent pieces down there and, you know, just in time, just in time to get yourself together and your household. Just in time and that was X marks but this pop. X marks the pop with X Tina. Don't forget the I Love Sale. Save up to 70% off on all select and selected items at the main store and other selected locations from designer shoes, fashion jewelry, perfume and cosmetics, ladies' fashion, men's wear, pages bookstore and stationery, also sports, the sunglasses, the beach, and watches starting from Thursday, the 22nd of March. You can head on down to the main store as well as the branch over there in Warren's at the Massey Complex. This is Hot 95.3, the Pulse Radio Show. Believe I'm here live. Big Red, the DJ. I'm here with Ken Pyle, Mr. Marcus Myers, and Christina, also known as X-Tina.